everyone, it's me, Gemma, and I'm at home in my kitchen, and it's finally summertime, and it's boiling outside, and I'm gonna cook you a delicious gluten-free summer fruit cupcake with cream cheese icing, because some of you have been asking a lot about gluten-free recipes, and gluten-free stuff has a bit of a reputation for being dry and crusty and boring, but I'm gonna show you a few handy tips to make it delicious and moist and fluffy. So there's three parts to this recipe. There's a summer fruit goo, which is just basically a fruit compote. And then there's the cupcake batter, and then there's the cream cheese icing. We're gonna start by making the goo. And I'm using summer fruits which are frozen. Uh, they usually come in a 300 gram bag at the supermarket, but if you have access to like actual fruits off trees and stuff, then by all means use those, but just make sure you cook them down really well and reduce them a lot. You don't also, you don't have to use summer fruits. You could use raspberries or blueberries or whatever you like really. Just do exactly the same thing that I'm about to do and it'll just be delicious. So you're gonna need 300 grams of frozen summer fruits or whatever fruit you fancy. Just pop that into the saucepan. And half a cup of caster sugar. Just pop that over a low heat. Well, while that's cooking, because it's gonna need about 25 to 30 minutes to really reduce down to a nice, thick, yummy goo, um, I'm gonna make my cream cheese icing. And for that, I'm just gonna need 75 grams of softened unsalted butter, um, 120 grams of cream cheese, and 420 grams of sifted icing sugar. So we start by putting the butter and the cream cheese together and whipping that all up. So I've had that mixing for a minute or two and it's gone this nice fluffy consistency and now it's ready to have sugar in it. So I'm gonna put the sugar in in two stages, whip it up really good in between, start mixing. Okay, back to my summer fruit goo. It's been simmering away now for about 25, 30 minutes, and as you can see, it's got a really nice jammy consistency. I'm gonna pass it through a sieve to get rid of the seeds, and then we just need to leave it to cool to room temperature. Right, so it's time to make the batter for the cakes, and my top tip for making gluten-free cupcakes is to use a ready-made gluten-free flour blend. Um, I like Dove's Farm, it works every time. It's got a mixture of rice and potato flour and a few other things. Um, I just add a little bit more xanthan gum to it, which kind of acts in place of gluten. It stops the cake from kind of being crumbly. It, it binds it together a little bit and makes it more springy. What you're gonna need is 125 grams gluten-free self-raising flour. So just pop that in your mixer through a sieve. And then 125 grams of caster sugar as well and just a pinch of xanthan gum, like an eighth of a teaspoon, if that. A little goes a long way. If you put too much in, it goes really gummy and horrible. And then we've got a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Whack that through the sieve as well. Shuffle it around. So then we've got 125 grams of soft, unsalted butter and then two large free-range eggs. And then start mixing it straight away. Start on a low speed and then increase it. All right, once it's had one and a bit minutes, I'm just gonna pop one and a half tablespoons of whole milk in there, just to loosen it up a little bit. Then speed it up, mix it again for a little while, and then it's gonna get really exciting. Right, so I've got my delicious summer fruit goo here, and what I'm gonna do is grab blobs of it with a teaspoon and plop it into my batter, but not really mix it in, just slightly mix it in, and that's gonna create really nice ripples through my cupcakes. Using a tablespoon, just kind of swirl it around, but not too much. You want to get a nice mixture of cake versus goo so that you get lovely ripples, and then into your prepared cupcake tin, just scoop that off like that. Oh, that's gonna be good, that one. So when you feel like you've used up 
your blob of goo, pop a bit more goo in. So that's all my butter in my tin and I'm just going to bake it now at 170 degrees C for 22 minutes. I'm so excited. These are all springing back nicely so I think they're ready. Right, my cakes are completely cool. Now I'm going to put some icing on them and make them delicious, even more delicious. So I'm just going to blob some of that yummy smooth cream cheese icing onto my cupcake. Just cover it neatly. You can pipe it too if you want, it's really up to you. But then I'm gonna put a little blob of goo right in the middle and then wiggle it around with this pointy thing. So it's kind of ripply on the top and on the inside. <laughs> Right, there it is, my summer fruit and cream cheese gluten-free cupcake. And I'm gonna prove how delicious it is by eating it right now. And it's really soft and airy. Look at that. That's not a boring, whole, crumbly, dry, minging old gluten-free cupcake. That's a squishy, spongy, yummy cupcake, and I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, all the ripples. <laughs> you should definitely experiment with the self-raising or the plain gluten-free flour. There's tons of stuff you can make with it, just replacing regular flour. So experiment, let me know how you get on in the comments box below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more videos by me, then don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link up there. And if you just wouldn't mind just skedaddling, I've got it. I've got a cake to eat, so. Mmm, all the ripples. Mmm. <laughs>